Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you about uh, the shortest remaining time first. Shortest remaining time first. As name is suggesting that the process which has the shortest bus time will have priority in the processing. So here we have uh, four processes P1, P2, P3, P4. Their arrival time is given and uh, their burst time is given. First of all, uh, when we start shortest remaining time first, we don't see the priority. Process P1 always comes first. So P1 comes first. It will run from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1 because its arrival time P2's arrival time is 1 so it will run till 1 when we have arrival time 1 we have two processes in the CPU processing we will compare their burst time 8 and 4 P1 has 8 P2 has 4 P2 has priority because it has shortest remaining time first so we will consider P2. P2 will run from 1 to 5. When we go to 5, it means all the processes are in the processing queue. Then we will compare all the processes. After 4, who has the priority? It's P4. P4 will run from 5 to 10. And uh, then we will check again the shortest remaining time first so we have P1 because P3 has 9 P1 has 8 P1 has already run for one burst time so it has 7 remaining so it will run from 10 to 17 and uh, for the fourth one the last one is P3 which will run from 17 to 26 because its burst time is 9 now we have their arrival times 0, 1, 2 and 3 and uh, we will uh, calculate the completion time. Completion time for P1 is 17 because it completed when the time was 17. P2 is, is 5 over here. P3 is 26 and uh, P4 is uh, 10. P4's first uh, completion time is 10 and uh, from here we will calculate turnaround time. The turnaround time is given by completion time minus arrival time. 17 minus 0 is 17, 5 minus 1 is 4, 26 minus 2 is 24, 10 minus 3 is 7. Now we have turnaround time. We want to calculate waiting time. The waiting time is equal to turnaround time minus burst time. So 17 minus 8 is 9, 4 minus 4 is 0, 24 minus 9 is 15, 7 minus 5 is 2. Now we have waiting time, turnaround time. If we want to calculate average waiting time, what we will do is we will add these all values and uh, divide with number of processes. So here we have 9 plus 0 plus 15 plus 2 and number of processes are 4. If uh, we do calculation on calculator, we get the result 6.5, which is our average waiting time. And uh, for extra purpose, if we want to calculate turnaround time, we will do the same procedure. We will add these all values and uh, then we will divide with the number of processes. And uh, it's all done with the, the shortest remaining time first. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Please subscribe the channel to have more informative videos.